What is up guys? Welcome to the video. My name is Drew Kosak and I run a visual effects editing YouTube channel where I post my own short films and After Effects tutorials. Most of my videos are based on teaching you guys how to edit travel vlog style visual effects that you might see in videos by Sam Colder, Ben TK, or J.R. Ali. That's kind of my general niche, but I'm here on the KineMaster channel today to show you guys how to do this falling through the sky effect all on the KineMaster app. All you'll need is a phone camera and a green screen. First, you'll have to set up your green screen. Make sure it's long and tall enough for you to be able to lay across it without your extremities going over the edges. Also make sure to leave enough space on the floor so you can lie entirely on the green screen itself. Then set up your camera, press record, lie down on the green screen, and do your best falling through the air impression. Yes, I know I look really silly doing this, but it'll look cooler by the end of this video. Once you're done, stop recording, trim the shot to your liking. You'll only need about five seconds of your green screen falling clip for this effect, and then open up the KineMaster app. Once you're in the KineMaster app, tap the play plus icon here to create a new project. Set your aspect ratio to 16 by nine or whichever aspect ratio you would like to use for your video. Then select media, navigate to your photos, then select your cloudy sky photo, press the check mark. We've included a link to this cloudy sky photo in the description below if you'd like to use the same one. Adjust it to fill the entire frame, press the check mark. Next, select your cloud layer, press these three dots in the top left and duplicate as layer. Then select your layer, drag it out to fill the entire screen. Now select the keyframe button on the left of the screen and drag your clip to the very top where you can see the top of the cloud photo. Now navigate to the end of your timeline and drag your photo up so that we can see the bottom of the cloud photo. This will add a second keyframe so that the background will move downwards with you as you fall. Then select layer, media, and navigate to your green screen shot where you are pretending to fall. I'm going to rotate it to be horizontal and then add a crop effect so that only the green screen itself is visible. I'm zooming in a bit here so I can see more clearly and just adjust it until you get it right where all you can see is your subject and the green screen. So now drag your green screen back on the timeline, size it the way you would like. I'm gonna make it a little smaller and then I'm gonna angle it down a little bit so I'm kind of falling head first. Then you want to add a chroma key, select enable, and then adjust these sliders until everything comes out clean. You just gotta play around with this until you get the right balance. Shorten your clip so it's the same length as your cloud shot. Now add a keyframe at the beginning of your clip by dragging your subject up to the top of the frame. Then I'm going to drag myself to the bottom of the frame so I fall through the entire clip. Now it looks like a silly falling animation, but we're going to add some additional effects here to make it look more realistic. Go back to your sky layer, select overall animation, and select floating. This makes the camera shake to intensify the effect. Now add the same animation to your green screen clip. Lastly, we just need to add some clouds flying by so it really looks like we're falling through the clouds. Just search Google for a cloud PNG file or download the one I am using here. It will be provided in the description below. Select layer, media, go to your photos and add your cloud PNG. I'm going to size this however I would like. Select opacity, drop it down a bit. Drag your cloud layer to the beginning of your timeline. And then we are going to add some keyframe animations. So select keyframes, drag it down all the way, then move forward a couple seconds and have your cloud fly past you by moving it up into the second keyframe. So now if we watch that, we have a cloud flying by. And we're going to add several layers of this. So just repeat the same process, add a cloud photo. And you want to just vary the opacity, vary the speed. So it looks realistic with different types of clouds flying by because obviously clouds come in all types of different shapes and sizes. So I'm gonna drag this off frame, move forward a bit, add a keyframe for when it's going to start flying past. And then I'm going to go forward a few frames and then drag it up past me so it flies by. Now we have two clouds flying by and we're gonna have to do this as many times as you need to create this effect. So just keep repeating the process. Mm -hmm. 
once you have enough clouds added to your animation, you could additionally pre-render this. I'm going to export it at 4K 2160, high quality. Once that's finished, I'm going to go back to the home screen, start a new project, also 16 by nine, and then add that pre-render to my timeline. And I'm going to speed this clip up just to add to the intensity of this effect. Say to about 1.3, play that back through. And I think that looks a lot better because it just looks more intense, like you're actually falling through the sky. Lastly, I would just add some whoosh sound effects for all the clouds flying past you. So click audio, go to your SFX library. I have downloaded some whooshes off the Kidamaster store, and I'm just going to add a variety of whooshes here for the clouds flying by. Additionally, you can add some reverb to these sound effects using any of these presets. I'm just gonna add a variety so that the whooshes kind of have a different sound. Once you're done adding in all your different clouds and sound effects, play back the clip and the effect is complete. All that's left at this point is exporting the video, so tap the export and share icon in the upper right corner, choose the resolution. I'm going to export in 4K and then high quality, and then your effect should be saved directly to your camera roll. And that's it. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. And if you'd like to see more of me on the Kinemaster channel, make sure to let them know by giving this video a thumbs up. If you're interested in seeing my own creations and After Effects tutorials, make sure to stop by my channel, Drew Kosak, which will also be linked in the description below. Below. I would like to extend a big thank you to Kinemaster for featuring me on their channel. Make sure to show them some love by hitting that subscribe button. For those of you who don't have Kinemaster yet, you can get it on the Apple App Store or on Google Play. Just use the links in the description below or search for Kinemaster. And that's it for this video, guys. Thanks again, Kinemaster, for having me. Until next time.